<laughs> Let's go to the movies uh, and find out uh, from Vicky if we should or not. It's a Flick Chick Vicky, the Red Vine Reviewer. Let's remind people why we call you the Red Vine Reviewer and Flick Chick. Because that's all I do is eat these dang red vines. I love them so much. <laughs> and I rate my movies that way. Five being the best of the best. Oscar worthy. One. No, don't do it. Just don't. Don't. All right. Don't do it. Let's get into it. All right. So did you go camping? I know how much you love sure, camping. Did you I go for Memorial Day? No. Oh, not you didn't yet. get to go? No, I'm, I'm going to. Well, soon. I've got a cautionary tale for you oh, once no. again. Oh, no. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Don't go into the woods. How many times? How many times did I tell you that's the way all these slasher movies start? Yes. Okay. So this movie, well, I'm a smart. Heard, not going to the woods. Uh, yeah. Person. This movie that I'd heard about, I heard when it went to festival that people were leaving the theater in droves, going out and vomiting. Oh yeah. And it, it was just like so incredibly visceral experience. It was freaking them out. And I went, well, I don't need to see that. And then I found out it got 96% on Rotten Tomatoes when it's coming out. And they were calling it this innovative new horror movie that was just like so fantastic because it's got this gimmick of showing the murders from the killer's point of view. All right, let's and roll. Let's roll. What, what called, is this? It's called a violent nature. All right. And so I went, okay, I guess I got to go see it. Brad, I'm going to tell you, this is really just another guy in a mask. I'm sorry. It is so much Friday the 13th, what, 14th? 50, 40 years later, uh, it is very, very bloody and violent. It is not so much from the killer's point of view as from some disembodied third person out there, camera person, following this killer around. Yeah. He wears a creepy mask. We gotta, gotta put a mask on, you know. And this time it's a vintage firefighter's mask. Yes, the, kill, the kills are extremely bloody when they happen. But I was not impressed. I didn't think there was this big secret ending to it. It looked to me like somebody just wanted to make another Friday the 13th movie, yeah. complete with it being out in the woods. Yeah. So if you like horror movies, you're probably going to want to go see this. It is, um, it's a Shudder release in theaters. I don't like it as much as I liked uh, the last Shudder release, uh, Late Night with the Devil. That was, in a, that was innovative and creative. But this one's just more of, and I do mean more, yeah. more, more blood, more gore. Three red vines because it's your average serial killer movie, in my opinion. For me, two and a half because I was let down. Okay. Not because I wanted to see really gory stuff, but yeah. if you're going to tell me it's going to be innovative and fresh and different, nope. then show me that. Exactly. Don't show me a guy roaming the woods with and, a mask. And again, the reason why, what happens with these people, they're near a lake. I don't camp they're, near a lake. They're in the lake, I they're in the better. woods. I told you. Oh, you I don't go by the lake, you I just stay in the woods? I don't camp near lakes, I stay in the woods. Hey, he, he goes, he goes he never, everywhere. Yeah, he, but you, you know. never camp near a lake. All right, go on <laughs> to the next one. Next but the one. next <laughs> one also is in the horror vein, but this is a guy who wakes up. Out of no, he, yeah. he just wakes up in the middle of a road uh, on the side of a mountain. And um, he's like, what happened? And then he's like, he goes, oh, I made it. And he sees his car. It's all smashed up. And he's like, oh, my gosh. And he's feeling himself. He goes, I made it. And then this vo voice tells him from the side, starts asking him something. And he looks up. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, I was on the motorcycle that you hit. And he goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? He goes, you're all right, too. And the guy's like, no, we're not all right. He tells him, we're dead. Whoa. And the guy's like, no, we can't be dead. And so begins this existential horror movie of the afterlife and the ramifications for things you did before. Because he starts going through these different soul journeys of different people that are in the same place he is. It is French with subtitles. You know, a lot of people used to not like to see foreign films because they didn't want to read movies. But they sure like reading video now with TikTok and everything. Yeah. And they're actually starting to show screenings in theaters with all the titles on them, even if it's in English. So I say don't let the subtitles hold you back. This is does, does have some gore in it, but not a lot. It is mostly a thinking, it's a thinking man's horror film, I would say, because you are really mesmerized by what is going on and trying to figure out what's happened to this guy and the other people that he comes across that are also on their soul journeys. I give it four red vines. Wow. Beautiful to look at. Ominous score. Really 
I just was hooked, really hooked on that movie. I like that. I it like is that. also streaming on multiple platforms right now from Arrow, um, which is, I'm not really familiar with Arrow, yeah. but I'm going to pay more attention to what I they're know. doing. We saw it was and, and last then, but not yeah, least. Very quickly, because we had them on yesterday. Did. We had LA, yeah. L ALS Arizona yeah. on yesterday. Uh, and it was to promote the movie For Love and Life, yes. uh, uh, No Ordinary Campaign. And it chronicles, that movie chronicles a young 37-year-old man who gets diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, a disease for which there is no cure, and they tell you six months to two years, get your affairs in order, eat whatever you want, go live your life. And he and his wife, who helped uh, campaign for Obama, knew the system, and they helped um, work things out and get legislation passed so that people with all neurological diseases have a better shot at getting the medications. I give it three and a half to four red vines. Really a good movie on Video Prime. I like it. There you go. Got to check them out, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. All right, come on back. We got more mix after this.